Wendell Moore, the switch. Jay Syracuse is doing some different things on defense here, and maybe it's because they don't have Buddy Beheim as Wendell Moore knocks down a three. Moore for three. His third of the game. It's so comfortable. And he's a, a natural right-handed player that shoots it lefty. Roach for three. The sixth of the game already for the Blue Devil. And Jimmy Beheim threw it right to Bancaro. Moore, Swider's got two and played to make sure he didn't get his third right there. Beheim looking a little like Buddy on those shots. Good, good cut. And a great extra feed from Moore to Williams. And that, we didn't see much of that in the first half of the attack of the rim. I think we'll see much more in the second. Gerard slipped, turned it over, Moore the slam at the other end, and is Gerard okay? So John Bolajac into the game for the first time. Williams scores off the inbounds, and as you said, this probably hurts Syracuse more at the offensive end. Swider is going back to the scores table, Jay, already getting ready to come in. You have to have his offense out there. You just take the risk. And Duke, that is now 14 paint points in the second half. Gerard on Keels and Torrance on Moore. Roach for three. Rattles in. Well, Jeremy Roach has been playing so well of late. And it feels like Syracuse is going to need all three of their scores. Swider, Gerard, and Jimmy Beheim going. If they're going to have a chance to win this. Jimmy Beheim, before today, had never made five threes in a game for Cornell or Syracuse. As they go over the top to Williams. Roach in the corner. Another one. Huge minutes off the bench for Jeremy Roach. And again, when he picked up the fourth and went to the bench for about a minute, I believe, Duke went on an 8 0 run. And it really kind of changed the tone of the game. Moore kicks to Roach. Got it! Jeremy Roach yet again. Wendell Moore Jr. driving Torrance, draws multiple defenders, and then just under the arm of Jimmy.